makeup basket time. Hey guys, thank you again for coming back and checking out my channel and my videos. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Welcome. For those of you who don't know me, you can tell by my profile name that I'm Adriana. And Happy New Year. And Happy New Year, New Year to all of my subscribers from six months ago. I really appreciate old and new everyone that's kind of stuck by me and given me positive feedback um, not just like the nice things and compliments but I consider positive feedback positive critiquing so just being nice about it giving me advice and pointers with lighting and stuff like that so I really appreciate you guys hope you had a wonderful Christmas holiday New Year season and let's get into the makeup basket as usual I have tons of stuff so starting with my face, I'm going to try and kind of go in a systematic order of how I apply things to my face. I first use my CoverGirl True Magic Skin Perfector. This is just like a clear mattifying balm, there we go, that I put on my face. And I'll either use my fingertips or this little sponge that it comes with. And it's just this clear balm and I just kind of like pat it in wherever you want to put it. It does have like a nice silky finish and it kind of dries to a powder. So you can put this on before or after your makeup, which is really nice because I don't typically use these sponges. Um, I'll put it on with my fingers at first and then carry this around with me. And if I feel like I need it throughout the day, I'll use this sponge. So, but I love it. So I'm definitely going to be using that and you will see that probably in every single makeup basket. Um, next, the pore professional from The Balm. This is supposed to help minimize pores. I never had issues with my pores, guys, until this year. I am lying to myself and saying it's because I'm wearing more makeup. It's probably because I'm getting a little bit older, <laughs> but um, I just use this and like pat it into this area. This, these are like the only areas right here where my pores are kind of more visible. <sighs> I appreciated my skin so much. Like I didn't appreciate my skin enough. And now that I'm like seeing more imperfections, I wish I would have really embraced it <laughs> but um but yeah so that that poor the poor professional is really good um if you guys have any kind of recommendations for anything cheaper please let me know on my face uh revlon age defined firming and lifting makeup this is spf 15 i'm in 30 soft beige this is the new foundation from revlon i do have a review and demo coming up featuring this item and the concealer is that it from Revlon? Oh, and the Illuminator, which I like all three, you know, spoiler alert. But, um, but yeah, I've just probably from eating so much crap the past few weeks, I've been breaking out like right here. I think also because when I wear my hair down and curly, well, well I mean, it's down and just curled in the ends, but my hair kind of like falls right there. And I think that's kind of making my break out, even though I don't put a lot of product in my hair. And my hair's not really oily or anything, but still. It's just like right there, so it's weird. So my BB creams are just not cutting it. And this is just so light. It has good foundation. It's light in the sense that it doesn't feel like a foundation, which I love, which is why I pulled this out and I'm gonna be using this. Along with needing coverage, my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. This is like super full coverage. It's so brightening under my eyes, it doesn't crease. I always use this kind of like the banana powder, the Ben Nye banana powder to set underneath with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Um, even though it doesn't crease, I just, for my own sanity, I need that. Also using the Real Techniques Sponge, I will then use this setting powder. Um, I have been using this Physicians Formula Super BB, I think this is like a foundation, it's like a beauty balm, all-in-one beauty balm powder, and it has SPF 30, and it's in light medium. I really, really like this. There we go. And I was using the massive, like, face, like, powder face brush from Real Techniques to just dust it on, but I felt like my makeup... I feel like by the end of the day I was just getting a little bit shiny in my forehead and this CoverGirl True Magic definitely helps but my friend Carol from the Blush and Brunette she was saying to use the sponge that you use for your foundation use that with this for setting powder uh, so that's what I did today and even putting it on I really could see the difference of it like setting my foundation as opposed to just like lightly resting and I'm not like you know putting a ton on my face but I feel like that pressing that into my face on top of the foundation and all the makeup really does make a difference so thank you Carol I have a few blushes two are tart 
This is flush. I've showed you guys this a billion times, but I just love it. And now that I have like no, sorry, like no color on my face, I'm just so pale. Um, this gives like a really nice flush of color and it's not too bold. I noticed like some of the lighter colors don't really stand out. Um, I think I was using Milani Luminoso maybe and it just wasn't showing up, which you would think it would show up more because I'm so pale. But I think it just looks so much nicer on like bronzer skin because it gives a glow. Whereas on my pale skin, it just kind of like fades away and does nothing. So this is beautiful. Um, for something a little lighter, I have Memorable Tarte. This was in my Tarte of Giving set, so it's smaller. And it is um, still like a little hint of mauve, but it definitely is more pink. And yeah, it's definitely more pink. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but... And it does have a little bit of shimmer in there. For my highlighter, I have my Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. This is soft and gentle. It is very beautiful. Um, I don't regret buying it, but it is expensive. It's like $30 or just under. And I found some really great highlighters that aren't as expensive. But it's not something I would return because it is such good quality and it is really, really pretty. Um, so you can't fight with that. I also have this Sonia Kashuk highlighter. This is in Sparkling Sands 45. And this is just like a highlighting stick. So look at that. You can see that from a distance. And it's beautiful. And this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to swatch that MAC just so you can see the difference. So the MAC one definitely is like more gold tone compared to... So you can like slightly see it. Like this one is just so much more pigmented because it's a cream. But it's beautiful. Oh, am I kidding? I want it all. I want it all. So I have that. And then this item, this is a blush, but it's also um, like a lipstick also. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is from Via Bombshell. I got this in my Ipsy bag for December. It's Flustered, the one stick. And it's supposed to be like for your lips, your cheeks. So... I was wearing this on my lips earlier, probably uh, faded. And then what I did for my cheeks, on this cheek I kind of tapped it on and really worked it in with my small e.l.f. stiffling brush. This is like $3. Um, and then I kind of just put it directly on there. And then on this cheek, I feel like it works better that way. And just buffed it into the skin, and it's really pretty. I know there's another color, a lighter color that people were getting that they weren't too happy with. Um, I think that might be better as like a, a highlight, but this is just a really good way to apply it. Whether you put it directly on your cheeks and just go like this, or just use the brush directly on the product. Um, and it is a really pretty color. This again is flustered, the one stick, so I do like that. Eyeliners, of course, my L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. This is just in black. Guys, you know I love this because I cannot tight line, I can't water line, I can't do any of those. And this just, without having to go under, because if I go under my lashes on my water line, this just completely gets on my contacts and screws them up. So I'll just put this over it, but it's so like long and pointed that it really gets in there and it kind of gives, for me, the illusion of tight lining. So I love that liner. I also have my NYX Glam Liner Aqua Luxe. It's waterproof. I think this is, actually I think this is like a brown one. It's in Glam Golden. So it's a really pretty color. Yeah, it's like a bronzy brown color. But I only use this like once or twice I think and I wasn't a huge fan. But I think that's my fault. I'm just not good at liquid liner yet. So I have to, have to, have to learn how to do this. Actually, I don't have to. There are more important things to worry about in life. So I'm just going to try this a few more times. If it doesn't work out, I'll sell it. I'll give it away. I'll do something with it. Um, I also have the Jordana Fabuliner Liquid Eyeliner in black, which is a lot easier to use. That The next one is more like a brush, the liquid brush, and this is a felt tip liner. So I really do like this. Again, I'm just not really good at liner. I feel like my wing is never straight here. It always kind of like curves out. I don't know. If anyone's like, if you guys have like amazing tips, can you just let me know? Or can you just go to my house every day and do my makeup for me? Um, and then the other ones I have are my Revlon Photo Ready Kajal. This is in Carbon Cleopatra. 
So we have like this black end and then like a brightening end that's like a white creamy color. Really, really pretty good quality there. Urban Decay Naked 2. I've been using my Naked 3 a lot. So I'm not going to include it in here because I feel like all throughout January I'm probably going to be using that at least a couple times a week. But I have to still use my other makeup. So this is the Naked 2. And, oh, I always forget. Blackout, for some reason, just falls out. So, yeah. So that's the Naked 2. I'm sure everyone has seen that. And I'm just going to try and use that again because I haven't used that in a while. And then I have this. I was really excited to get this. It came in like a little set um, at Rite Aid. Everyone has this from way back in the day. It is a six, the six pan from Wet n Wild. And this is in Vanity E249. So I have that and I'm going to use the mess out of that. And then I threw in just for funsies to add some color. My Jewel of an Eye from Sonia Kashuk. I do have a tutorial collab with Little Miss Andy from the summertime, I believe, um, using this palette. Absolutely beautiful. So these colors are like super neutral, just like creams and browns. And then we have like a lot of taupes and things like that here. So I just thought this was necessary because it's going to bring in, if I want, um, purples or greens or garnets or anything like that. We have all those jewel tone. I included this Berry Ready Color Whisper from Maybelline just because it's such an easy, easy, I mean it's berry, it's beautiful, but these are just so easy to apply and I love having these at work or just having them like at my desk or in my bag because they're so pretty. Um, I also have from Maybelline Fit That Fuchsia. Oh, so there's Fit That Fuchsia, that's Berry Ready, the Maybelline Color Whisper. And I'm like all up in your face. I have this from Rimmel Amethyst Shimmer, and I got this a while ago, and I don't like swatching things at the drugstore, it's not fair. There's Amethyst Shimmer. Primrose. Just a really, really pretty like pinky, pinky nude, but it's definitely on me, it just shows up pink. Then Black Cherry, the complete opposite. Black Cherry from the Fergie line with Wet n Wild, VI Pink. Really pretty. It's pink, but it looks like mauve, especially next to that purple. Um, it looks purple, <laughs> like a light, light purple. And I have this Pop Shades Limited Edition Bomb Color Reach from L'Oreal, and this is in Vineyard Peach. And I love these. I have this in Dragon Fruit. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I just wanna... So that's my makeup basket for the week. Let me know, as usual, what's on your face. What are you loving and hating? Is there anything in this basket that you love or hate? Because I'm pretty sure I love everything. But I am that person that either I love something or I hate it, or I'm just like, ah, uh, I'm not really sure, so I hate it, <laughs> you know? But, uh, but again, just let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. You stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget to subscribe so we can hang out again. Bye, guys.